Hello everyone and today we are going to discover our multi-layer tool. This is something you're going to use with the PNG file when you bring it in. It will give you the ability of course to separate things into multi-layers. The one thing I must tell you, you must be an Access member with Cricut in order to access the multi-layer panel and I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do here. Now if you don't have access, time to go grab it and make sure that you can get into this tool. This is an advanced feature that uh, Cricut has offered inside of Design Space. Really important. There are other tools that you can use outside of Cricut Design Space, but today we want to concentrate on the multiple layers. So when we bring in a design, uh, for example, the one we have on the screen here, I have uploaded this gnome and you can find that gnome or any other thing in our library. You can just grab some of the assets there. I do believe the gnome is asset number 452 inside betsmakes.com slash library. So you can grab the same file I'm working on. Now I'm uploading this file and it is a flat graphic. Now, same as normal, you can decide whether you want it as a print then cut, full color image as you see here, whether you want it a single layer and be able to just cut it out as is, as an outline, or we can go into multiple layers. So let's just click on the multiple layers. You will see a green line go all the way around it. And then I'm just going to click on the continue button. Now it says convert to layers, instantly convert your images as a Cricut Access subscriber. You've got perks. So it will change this and convert it to a multicolored image in separate layers. So we're going to click on check it out. Now what you see here is simply two colors and it doesn't exactly look like the image we started with. If you take a look at the original image here, you'll see that we've got multiple colors and what it's offering us is not a lot of colors at this point in time. So what we can do here in order to do that is take a look at the colors. Now it's giving us two colors here. If you use this little drop down, you can get all kinds. You can get up to nine layers. Now a lot of them look pretty similar here. So let's try with five and see what we get. Now that is pretty close to what we had before. I'm not quite liking exactly what five gives us. I wanted a little more clear, so let's try seven. And that seven layers is actually not too bad. We have a gray, uh, we have a white, a pinkish, a gray, a yellow, a brown, a blue, and a red. Now let's just see, for example, what we would get with nine. It is a lot clearer, but you get a lot of extra little pieces and parts in here. And I'm not too sure if that's exactly what we want because it's going to give us a lot of different layers that we have to cut. Now, if you want to put nine layers together, that's fine. I usually stick around four. So let's see what four will give us. And it loses a quite a bit of detail in here. So let's go back up to five. And I think that gives us a little more detail because it gives us the flesh tone. So now that is with five layers. So I'm just going to continue here. And everything looks good. It's asking me if I want to add it to any collection. Well, I have one called Experiment. So I'm just going to add it to that collection. And I'm just going to click on Upload because I was in the process of uploading. It says Image Upload is Successful. Now it brings it automatically now right into our canvas and over here on the layers panel, if you can see our layers panel here is the gnome and you should find all these different layers that we've added. Now we asked for five layers so I'm going to click on this one and it's basic cut and it's all the red pieces. 
Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab those red pieces out. Now there's all the red ones it's going to cut. The next one in the list here are the blue pieces. So let me just grab those out of the way. Now one thing I want to do here is where it says Gnome Tote. I'm just going to double click here and I'm just going to write at the end of this just so I can tell what it is. I know what the color is. And we know this one is blue. Give it a double click. Get it at the end here. And it just makes it easier when you're starting to work with a number of things. Okay, now this one is the brown piece. So I'm just going to drag it out of the way as well. And then we have the pink and the gray. So now we want this one, which is the brown piece. So let's rename this. And we've got, whoops, not. I'm going to click on this one, and that is the pink piece. Let's rename this. And of course, not ink, pink. Let's go back here. Pink. And the last one, of course, is our gray. Getting it to go to the end here. All right, so we can see what the colors are, so we know exactly what's going to happen here. Now here's the interesting part. On the top, this is your top piece, so we know the red goes on the top. The blue is next in line, and then comes our brown, and then our pink and our gray. So our bottom layer is gray, and you, when you're going to cut all of this stuff out, that's exactly the order it's going to be in. So for now, let's just grab all of this together and I'm going to arrange them. Oh, I'm just going, going to ungroup them. Okay, it's not allowing me to put them back in order. So let me just click away here. Oh, it's because it's in a group. Okay, so let's ungroup it. Push these into place in the right order. Just grab them all together here. Now we can align center. So it comes back pretty well the same as we had it. So when you're going to put this together, now this little guy, if you take a look, he's only a couple of inches. So let's make him pretty big so we can see him a lot better. There we go. Now when you're putting the pieces together after you've cut them all out, make sure you use them in the correct order. Because if we go over to make it, let's just click make. I know I haven't saved it yet. So now it's going to prompt me to save. And I'm just going to put multi-layer. Test. multi-layer test and I'm going to put it back into my experiments here. Where's my experiments? There it is right there. I'm going to add that. I'm going to save it. Now it's going to sort them into the mats and you'll notice it's not quite in the same order as you had in the layers panel and that's important to note. Because when you go to put things together, you want to have Cricut Design Space open and look at the layers in the order you want them so it's easier for you to assemble things. Now, the gray one, of course, is going to be at the very back. The red one is going to be at the very top. So there is no rhyme nor reason of the way it's going to cut. And everything looks pretty good. So you would go ahead and cut this and then be able to assemble it. I'm just going to click cancel here. So even though the red one didn't show us the top one, it showed the gray first and then it showed the red. So it doesn't matter what order you have it here in the layers panel. Just make sure when you're going to layer things that you put them in the order they should be in the layers panel. So when it's time to go assemble anything, you will know the right order to put it. 
So I hope this helped you a little bit with the multi-layer, and I will see you next time.